Hi, I hope you're doing really well. This lesson is going to be action packed. We're going to get you set up with a developer account with the OpenAI API so that we can start using the ChatGPT API. It's going to be pretty cool. Okay, so specifically in this lesson, what we're going to do is walk through how to set up an OpenAI developer account. We're gonna get a private key that you'll be able to use with the API. And then we're gonna test an API call using a tool called Postman. So we are gonna hit the ground running here. Let's go. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is set up an OpenAI developer account. Not an OpenAI account, but an OpenAI developer account. So you'll wanna go to openai.com and Finding the developer site isn't too tricky. Like right now, and I'm sure a lot of this will change by the time you're watching this. Uh, right now, there's a little tab up here that says developers. And if you click on it and go to probably any one of these, you're going to be able to get to the developer site. So I'm just going to go to overview. And it's going to open up a new tab for me. And it takes me to platform.openai. All right. And this is basically where developers hang out. So now what we want to do is sign up as a developer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click sign up. And this is just your typical, hey, you gotta sign up for some web service. Done this a million times, right? It'll send you an email, and then you just have to click the link in the email to log you in. And then you just gotta get it some information. You got to do some puzzles. Once you've done that, you have set up your account. Sweet. You're an open AI developer now. All right. That's pretty straightforward. Not too hard. Just go through a typical account setup. Once this account is set up, now what we need to do is get a private key. So if you go up to your username and you click, you should get a drop down menu. And then you're going to want to go to view API keys. So you click this, and this is where you can generate a new secret key. All you have to do is press this button. You can give it a name. And it's going to give you an opportunity to copy this secret key. The way these secret keys work is you're not going to be able to go back and get this again. This is your one shot to grab this key. Now, you can always make a new key, no problem whatsoever, but they're only going to show you the key once and you got to keep it in a session, uh, you know, a place where you're not going to lose it. And you definitely don't want to get this out on the web. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. So I've got it copied. I'll paste it somewhere safe. And once I know I have it saved somewhere, I'll go ahead and hit done. All right. So we've got our secret key. So now let's take a moment to talk about the API usage costs. So when you first sign up as an open AI developer, you're going to get some free money to spend, some free credits. To look at the billing information, you just can go over to the left and click billing. And then to get to this page, this view, to see that back end, you just click your name and you can go to manage account. So you go to manage account, it takes you to the same area. Okay, so we're just going to go to billing. All right. And right now you can see I'm on a free trial. They give me so many credits for one month. Once I've used up all my free credits, or if a month has passed and I don't use those credits, then they're going to prompt me to start using, to add a credit card and then start being charged. So when I go to usage, this shows me how much I've actually used the API and been charged for it. And you can see I've got a grant and it's for $5. This number, they're playing around with it. Last time I signed up, it was $18 credit. This time it's only five. But now it looks like it actually expires several months from now. So you got a lot more time to kind of play around with that grant. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, five bucks, that doesn't sound like it's going to go too far. Well, let me tell you that when I first signed up, I was using the API almost every single day. And for the entire month, I got charged seven cents. So they're pretty reasonable on these charges. So don't think this is going to break the bank. If you're just a you know, person using it for your own projects, playing around with it, and it's not pub, you know, open to the public and hundreds of thousands of people are using it, it's pretty inexpensive. In a later video, we'll talk about how they charge the account, like what counts as using the API and 
all that kind of thing. But we're not going to talk about it now because what I want to do now that we have our secret key is go ahead and test the API. So the tool we're going to use to test the chat GPT API is called Postman. It's a really common tool for web development, especially when you're testing post requests or gets or when you're just testing an API. So you can just go to postman.com. It'll take you to a page that'll look something like this. And again, you're going to sign up for another account. Yay. So click up for sign up for free account. Nothing new here. You'll just put in this information. You might get a screen like this when you're first logged in. You can go ahead and close that out. Okay. Now we're only going to be using the free services of Postman and they also do have a desktop app that's really handy. So if you think you'll be doing this a lot, it doesn't hurt to download the desktop app, but for our purposes right now, just using the web version is fine. So again, this is a tool that's going to help us send an HTTP request to the OpenAI API so that we can access the chat GPT language, large language model. Now, when you look at this interface, it might seem kind of super intimidating, makes me want to close my browser, maybe hide a bit because I'm tired of learning new software sometimes, but let's tread on. It's really not too bad. What we are going to do is make an HTTP post request. Basically, we're going to send some information to the OpenAI API, and then we're going to see what we get back. To make a post request, we need to know the following. We need to know where to make the request to. So that is going to be the API endpoint URL. We're going to need to know what to put in the request headers, and then we'll need to know what to put in the request body. To get all this information, what we can do is go back to the Open API developer site, and specifically, we're going to go to the documentation. And this link will be below. So here we are at the OpenAI developer website, and we're in the API reference, and we're looking at chat because the model we're using is going to be the chat model. And you can see right at the top, they have this URL to make post requests. So this is a URL that we need to send our data to. So now if we come back over to our workspace and we click this little plus button, it brings up this little screen for our API call. And what we're going to do is a post request, and we're going to paste in that URL. All right, so we've got a post request, and we've got our API endpoint URL. Now what we need to do is figure out what to put in the HTTP request header and body. The request headers are going to let the API know who we are. So basically, it's going to allow us to authenticate with the OpenAI API, and it's also going to have some information about how the request body will be formatted. So if we go over to headers, we can see we have a key column and a value column. Now for HTTP requests, there are standardized keys and standardized values for each of these. And all we want to do right now is put in the minimum request header information. And where do we find this information? Well, we can find it over at the OpenAI documentation. So let's go back there. And if we look at this example request, it says we need to have content type of application JSON, and then we need to have authorization, and we need to send in our open API key. So let's go ahead and put that in our request over here. So I'm just gonna start typing content type, and you can see it's already standardized that comes up, and then I will put in the application JSON. And you can see these are really standardized. It auto completes for me. And then the other thing we need is authorization. There it is. And now what we're going to type is bearer, a space. And then we're going to put in that super secret API key. Okay, so now we've got our headers. Finally, what we need to do is figure out what data that we're going to send to the model so that we can get a response. Now the body is going to be formatted in JSON and the minimum information that we can send is which model we want to use 
and then what's called a messages array, which we will get into more detail in another lesson. So how do I know this? Well, I checked out the OpenAI documentation and it tells you right there what you need. So here's the parameters. Look, it's already formatted in JSON for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this information. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna to go to body and then I'm gonna click raw. All right, and I'm gonna paste this right in here. So this is the example code that I got from the OpenAI website for making a minimum HTTP post request to the OpenAI API for specifically for the chat model. Okay, so what's it do? Well, it's got the model, right? So that's one of the parameters and notice we've got our key value pairs and then it has the content that we're gonna send. And we're gonna be talking about all this stuff in far more detail later. But for right now, again, we're just trying to test. This is a smoke test to make, hey, did we get the right, our account set up right and the public key set up right? So that's what we're doing. So here's the content, hello. You know, we can change this as long as we don't mess up any of the JSON formatting, I'll just say like, Okay, so we've got the model. There's something about getting these large language models to talk as pirates that, I don't know, fascinating. Okay, so once we've got our content in there, then we can click send. And you know, you don't even have to change the content, you can just have hello, click send, and now what's gonna happen is we are sending our HTTP request to the OpenAI API the model at the end of the API is going to evaluate the request and send back a response. And guess what? The response is going to come back in JSON format. So here we are, we've got our response and you can see they've sent a lot of information. They sent an ID, an object, uh, value, uh, a number talking about created. Maybe that's a date number. I'm not too sure. It tells us the model. It tells us the usage, how much was actually used. And then it gives us the actual response. So pretty cool. We got our response back. Congratulations. You are now an official AI developer. The next video you're going to want to watch is how you can use a super cheap development board, the ESP32. It's wireless and you can use it to make API calls to the chat GPT API. This is a really neat project. Check it out. I think you're going to find it awesome.